morning. Joining us now from the Trump headquarters in New Hampshire is entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy, who, of course, was once a contender in this Republican race, then after suspending his campaign, endorsed former President Donald Trump. Vivek, you, you made that endorsement the same in the same speech that you dropped out. Why was it so important to you to get behind former President Trump? Look, I think there's two America First candidates in this race since the beginning. That was Donald Trump and myself. I do think we need an outsider, a businessman in the White House to actually lead as a chief executive. The people of Iowa spoke loud and clear. I got about 8% of the vote. I think it would have been something similar in New Hampshire. I wanted to send that vote Donald Trump's direction because we need an America First leader for this movement. And so that's why I made the decision I did. I'm glad Ron DeSantis made the decision that he did. I think it's time for this primary to be over and to go on to a general, decisive general election victory that's going to be required to reunite this country. And so I felt like I was doing my duty and my part, and I hope that the other candidates now do theirs. Vivek, why would you want to wrap this up so quickly? I got to think you're a capitalist, and one of the tenets of capitalism is competition. Don't you think a competition would make the party better, would make the eventual nominee better? So I think we've had that competition. I, to be clear, I After was in the thick race? of that competition After one for nearly a year. Yes. Well, look, it was when it was that decisive. I do think that now, after going through New Hampshire, it will be a waste of resources. And so speaking as a capitalist, one of the things you look at is resource allocation. I don't think it's good to waste resources of large donors, small donors alike, funding what I really see as a fake race from here on out when the people of this country and of the GOP primary base have spoken loud and clear. I think the essence of what's happening, let's call this spade out for what it is, is that Nikki Haley and her supporters are playing for a scenario that nobody in the GOP and frankly nobody in this country should be rooting for. It's that Donald Trump is somehow wrongfully eliminated from the ballot. That's the only possible scenario that Nikki Haley has to the nomination, and I think it's worth seeing that with open eyes out in the open. So tonight, a win is a win for Donald Trump, and I think that that should end this primary. That's the way this should go so we can focus on a general election where people are actually able to decide who the leader of their country actually is, rather than have resources siphoned into this primary where some of the largest Democratic supporters, the likes of Reid Hoffman, who's paying for the lawsuits against Donald Trump, are actually paying to prop up Nikki Haley via her super PAC. And one of the things you notice about tonight, if the early reports are to be believed and the early numbers are suggestive and that are correct, that actually you have more independents and Democrats voting in the Republican New Hampshire primary than actual registered Republicans, which means that this is actually a preview of what the general election should look like. And so in that sense, I view this as a practice round for the general election. And I'm hoping not just for a victory for Donald Trump in the general, but a decisive enough victory that we can actually reunite this country around that. The, so that's what I'm yeah. hopeful for. But I do think ending the GOP right. primary is an important step to get there. The data is still coming in. I want to put up something on the screen for our viewers that we, we've been going to throughout the, the night here, which is uh, a statement from RNC chairwoman Ronna McDaniel. And, and she put this out uh, while the voting was still going on in New Hampshire around, I think, 5 p.m. And basically saying, if President Trump comes out strong tonight, that's a clear message being sent from our primary voters. You took issue with Ronna McDaniel during our NBC News debate. Are you surprised that you and her are now on the same page so quickly? Well, look, I think that there's John Fetterman's been saying things about the southern border in recent weeks that I agree with as well, that we need to seal the southern border. So if Ronna McDaniel is going to speak something that to their to my eyes looked like it was a true statement. Yes, I agree with her that the clear signal from GOP primary voters do matter. That's a separate issue from whether we need new RNC leadership. I believe we do. I think that the RNC has not been well managed or well run, but that's a question for another night. The question for tonight is really what message are Republican primary voters sending? I think they sent a clear message in Iowa. I think they are sending today a clear message in New Hampshire across the board, actual Republican primary voters. And that's one thing, one way we need to look at the results tonight is what did the registered Republican primary voters actually say versus separately how differently do the results look with independents and especially even registered or former registered Democrats included. And I think that this is more of a test of what the general election itself could look like. So if Trump comes out tonight, as I expect and hope he will with a victory, a victory is a victory, a win is a win. And I think that's actually a prediction of what the general election outcome could look like. And so in some ways, that New Hampshire testing ground tonight is actually going to be really positive for this race. And I do think the right thing for Nikki Haley to do soon is to get out of this race so we can focus on the general election, deliver a moral mandate, what I think could be a landslide in this general election. And that's where the focus of our resources should be, not on a fake primary that we're falsely extending 
far longer than the Republican primary electorate thinks it should go. I think the voters in those primary states will say there's nothing fake about their votes. I do want to, I do want to ask you, have you spoken to the former president about any type of role in the administration if he were to win the election? We've not had any specific conversations about what my role or future is going to be. To the contrary, my focus remains on this country. The reason I entered this race is I think it was going to take an outsider who is serious about taking on the administrative state, the permanent state, the bureaucracy and the federal government, and to do so without being beholden to outside forces, financial or special influences. That's why I was in the race. That being said, the people of Iowa sent a clear message, and I do think that if it wasn't going to be me, I went all in to support the other businessman in this race who is serious about taking on the administrative state and that deep state in the federal government, and that's Donald Trump. And I think many of the issues that Trump is running on now, these go beyond traditional partisan boundaries. Growing the economy, sealing the southern border, reviving national pride in the next generation. These are not black or white issues. I think in a deeper sense, these are not even really Democrat or Republican issues. These are American issues. And so I think this America First movement that we're leading, that Donald Trump is now leading from the front, is going to be something that actually unites Americans across many stripes and boundaries. And I think that's going to be the main surprise in that second term is not only how decisive the election result is, but more importantly, how we are able to reunite this country. But that starts with first reuniting the Republican Party. And that's why I believe it would be healthy at this point, not three months ago, not two months ago, but at this point, after the first two primary states have gone and delivered a clear, decisive result to end the primary, to focus on what the Republican Party actually accomplishes in the general election. And I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that we have a decisive general election result, and more importantly, that we reunite this country afterwards. Vivek Ramaswamy, we thank you for your time. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.